Hey, good morning. So today we were supposed to be... <laughs> Get away, Lexi. We were supposed to be doing the um, Desert Warrior Ashman, but thunder, lightning, um, torrential rain kind of put paid to that. So one of the things we had a week ago is some sports kit. So Bill, our trainer, has done a video for us and we get to work out at home, which is cool. Um, I've got the addition of a dog underneath me who's going to get squashed if I crash. So um, I've got my hands on this thing here, which you can't really see. It's the phone block. Basically, it makes your, um, makes you work a bit harder because you're not on a stable um, floor. So you can do all sorts of things on it. You can do lunges, you can do um, backward lunges, crunches, squats, etc. And I'm just holding a plank on it with the assistance of Lexi Lou, who's obviously down below me and hoping not to get crushed. Um, unfortunately, my, my timer is on my um, phone. <laughs> so I'm having to watch my timer on the video. But the great thing is, you don't always have to work out in a gym. And I think everyone thinks you have to have expensive gym membership, which you don't. You can work from home. You can work in your pajamas if you want to. In fact, you've got some sports kit on. Um, and if you work from home, you can just fit 10 minutes in every now and again. I'm so sorry, you've got the dogs behind. Come on, Lexi, that's not a very gorgeous view of you. Huh? Anyway, probably what you should do before you work out is to put the dog in her house. Um, she's got this lovely little crate that she thinks is a, a castle. So really you should put the dog in, in the house first so that you can concentrate. Um, exercise wise we've got this, we've got a medicine ball, we've got some sort of strap things that you can do um, lots of arm workouts with and I'm sure there's much more. And we've got kettlebells, do kettlebell swings and some arm movements and some resistance bands which is perfect for when you need to um, work out on the floor and um, put some extra pressure on you without having weights and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do my workout in a minute. Put the dog in our house. Got my Nike gear on. I absolutely love Nike sports gear and Under Armour. They're probably my, my two favourite ones. I think they, they design stuff that's not crazy um, expensive. Though Nike is obviously a bit more expensive than um, Under Armour. But you have to feel comfortable whatever you're doing so find something you love wear something you love um, wear something that's big and baggy if you're a bit worried about your body shape and stuff but overall don't spend a fortune um, <clears throat> you don't need to spend a fortune on, on sports kit you do need a few things that fit you properly so ladies it's probably worth investing in a decent sports bra um, definitely some trainers that give you support it doesn't have to be an expensive branded um, pair but you, you should get something that that supports your feet I've got very high arches so um, last time I was in London I actually went to the Nike shop they've got a huge shop in um, I think it was Oxford Street and um, I ran on the treadmill got someone to look at the best fitting shoes for my feet with my high arches and um, they were expensive but it's worth investing because obviously you don't want to injure yourself so those are the two things I would say, if, you, if you're going to splash some cash, get decent trainers, get a decent sports bra, get yourself some sort of support. Um, it's nice to wear sports performance clothes if you can, just because it, it helps with um, the sweat, it makes you a bit cooler when you're training and you're not in cold cotton and stuff. But it doesn't matter if you can't afford that or if you don't choose to do that. Um, particularly if you're trying to lose weight, you don't always want to um, spend a lot of money on a sports kit because you don't want to be in it for a long, long time. So don't worry so much about names. Um, the outlet mall, Sun and Sand, have a big outlet mall in Alcoos. It's a perfect place to go if you want to buy stuff that's not too expensive. It's last seasons, but hey, I'm, I'm not into season in terms of um, sports gear. But it, they have a whole range. It's a, um, it's a little bit overwhelming the first time you go. There's so much stuff there. But it's absolutely worth um, rifling through, finding stuff that you like, and you're going to save a lot of money probably at least half the price of buying it um, straight in the shop, so it's always perfect for me. I always go to the outlet mall first, and only if I can't find it in the outlet mall do I go and look in some of the shops. Um, just because I, I, you can spend a lot of money on this stuff, and um, 
you don't necessarily need to. You need to find stuff that you like, stuff that you find comfortable. Um, I don't know many people who have perfect gym bodies in whatever they wear. So um, unless they're super, super fit and super toned, etc., etc., and even then they're looking at themselves, thinking there's something else they could do or they they could fine tune. So just find something that's comfortable. For me, it's always something that's a bit longer. Um, try not to show too much of my arms. Um, I've got scars, which I'm a bit conscious about. And also, you know, whilst they're still a bit chubby and fat, I don't, I don't want to look at them. I'm sure if I don't, other people don't. So don't spend a fortune, but do work out. Work out at home if you can. If you've got kids, you can do lots of things at home. There's plenty of workouts um, on TV. And if you follow the Switch DXB channel, there's also some exercises by Phil showing you what you can do with the equipment that we've been gifted. But also, you know, use your imagination. You don't have to spend a fortune on sports equipment. I've seen ladies working with um, bottles filled with water, or with vegetables, canned vegetables from their kitchen cupboards, doing squats as they're in the kitchen. You know, just do, just do what you can and just get yourself moving and be a bit active. Anyway, Lexi Lou's going to go go in her house, and I'm going to do a bit of a, a, video, a bit of a workout um, using Phil's Phil's video that he recorded for us, and um, using this new equipment that I've been gifted. So, really happy to to have that, and I'll do a separate video and show you what we've got.